Hey there everybody, Radix Parasite here with a bit of an update video. I don't think I've done one of these before, so this is kind of a first. I'm just coming off of a year-long hiatus, so I wanted to provide some context for that, like why that happened, as well as talk about what I want to do with the channel going forward. Don't worry, I am not ending the channel, but I just wanted to kind of talk about uh, what I want to do with it in the future. So, first things first, uh, the hiatus. Seems like I always have a gap in content whenever I'm going through a major life transition, and uh, this was no exception. So, in March, I finally landed an engineering job in Los Angeles, and naturally all of my focus turned to getting ready to move, uh, finding a place to live, you know, all that stuff. So I moved to LA around the end of March and started working in April. Even after moving, there was still a lot of stuff to take care of in the first month or so if you ever had to deal with uh, title transfers on cars or moving a car from one state to another, uh, like getting a new license, you know, you know what I'm talking about there. Um, so between March and May, I was way too busy to worry about like creating any content. Um, obviously I did not start posting videos in May, so like what's the deal with that? Um, part of it was adjusting to working a full-time job again. Uh, I have had some full-time internships in college before, so it's not like a 40-hour work week is totally new to me. Uh, nevertheless, I was mainly focusing on trying to find a good balance between work and my personal time. But at the beginning, I wasn't really feeling up to making content. I was, uh, I'm trying to keep up with playing games you know, on my own time outside of YouTube and, and Twitch. Beyond that, I can't really say for sure why it's taken me so long to start publishing videos on YouTube again. Uh, there's at least one thing that I can kind of use an ex as an excuse. So up until recently, I've been producing all of my content on laptops. Uh, the first one that I got that I used for a solid five to six years in college was pretty decent for gaming and editing. Uh, over time, its performance kind of degraded though. so. By the time I was finished with college, it was pretty clear that I needed to replace it. Uh, I've been wanting to build a desktop PC for years, but I didn't really have the means to do so at that time, so I decided to invest in a thinner 2-in-1 laptop, and my intent was to use that kind of on the go for web browsing, email, you know, that kind of stuff, but I wanted something that was a lot more portable, because the, the first laptop that I got was this, you know, big hunking dinosaur. I don't know exactly how much it weighed, but it was a lot. Um, so I wanted something that I could actually carry around. Uh, but of course, with that comes less power uh, for gaming, editing, streaming, all that stuff. So for a while, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to use it to render videos or stream on it like I really wanted to. Uh, thankfully, it was powerful enough to handle those things decently well. Uh, still, it wasn't quite as powerful as I wanted it to be to like really be kind of like pumping out content. But fortunately, um, I was able to custom build a PC in December, and so I've been using that since then. Um, I'll throw up the specs on screen uh, for anyone who's interested about that kind of stuff. But the good news is that I'm finally in a position now where I can record, edit, and upload content much more efficiently. And it's also been a lot better for streaming too, as you might imagine. Part of the reason that I was kind of holding off on YouTube content was I wanted to wait until I had a more powerful computer to work with. I also recently acquired a Blue Yeti, which is what I'm using to record this right now, so that's another plus. Uh, other than that, it mostly just comes down to getting comfortable to record again. You know, anytime I take a uh, time off from recording, uh, I want to make sure that, like, but you know, when I go back into recording stuff that I feel comfortable with it, so that, that's also part of it. It's taken a bit longer than I would have liked, but I'm at the point now where I'm ready to get back into it. So at the point that I'm posting this, uh, Super Mario Odyssey has already started. Uh, due to me moving across the country, uh, Era and I will not be able to get together to record that quite as often as we would have liked. Uh, I've been posting that weekly for now, but I'll be running out of content for that soon enough. Uh, I really wanted to do that project despite the fact that there will inevitably, you know, inevitably be some hiatuses here and there, you know, between when we can get together and record it. Uh, as for my next solo project, uh, it's been over a year since I did the initial planning for that now. Uh, it's all ready to go, so it's mostly just up to me to get off my butt and actually record it. 
Uh, given how long it's been since the initial planning phase, I think it's prudent for me to start and keep a practice file going that's ahead of the let's play. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm planning on starting that soon. Uh, no promises on when the first videos will actually get published, but I'm aiming to start posting them before the end of February. So, you know, hold me to that. Uh, beyond that, I'd like to talk about the direction that I want to take with the channel. As I mentioned before, I'm now working a full-time job. I have less time to devote uh, to making content than I used to, you know, even though that's kind of debatable. I had a pretty full schedule a lot of the time in college, but anyways. Uh, I've decided that I'm only going to do like full Let's Plays of games that I'm really, really interested in. Uh, looking back, I kind of think the channel was heading in this direction already, but I just wanted to get that sentiment out there. Um, for more context, here's some insight into how I go about choosing my projects. So I have a document that I've been keeping you know, for years uh, of potential projects that I want to do. Uh, once it comes time to choose my next project, I'll pull from that document and pick whichever one that I want to do the most. Uh, over time, you know, I've added and removed some games if something new came out that I wanted to do or if I lost interest in something. Um, since I have less time to devote to content production now, I have to be a bit pickier with what I actually do Let's Plays of. Um, there have been some games that have been on this document for a while, but I've never gotten to just because there was always something that was higher priority. So a couple examples are Super Paper Mario and Final Fantasy VI. So rather than never doing these games ever, uh, I had the idea to shift them from being full on Let's Plays on YouTube to doing a playthrough of them on Twitch. That's a lot less time intensive for me, I don't really have to worry about like editing, editing VODs really, um, and it still allows me to play through them without all of the effort that is required for making a Let's Play. So this kind of segues into another topic that I wanted to cover, which is my Twitch channel. Uh, one of my resolutions over the past year was to stream more, and I'm happy to say that I've been meeting that goal. Uh, I've streamed a lot more within the past year than I think I ever used my Twitch channel before then, so that's uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I've got a couple of stream projects that are going right now, including a Pokemon Emerald 3-way soul walk with some friends from the Data Plan, and a playthrough of Kingdom Hearts are a Chain of Memories. You, uh, there's been some VODs going up uh, on my channel for that. So, uh, I've also been doing some speedrun attempts on there as well. Uh, it's just been Super Metroid for now, but there are a few games that I'm interested in learning to speedrun and adding to my repertoire. Uh, I'm going to keep trying to keep up with the streaming uh, going into the future. It's going to be tough trying to balance both that and YouTube, but I really want to find a way to kind of make both work. Um, in the past, I definitely think I preferred YouTube as kind of a platform uh, for content creation, and that's why I didn't really use my Twitch as much, but, uh, you know, streaming over the past year, I've really kind of uh, gained a new appreciation for kind of that format. So to summarize, uh, I'm officially back to making content on both YouTube and Twitch. I'll be keeping my selection of Let's Plays down to only the games that I'm the most interested in. Uh, I'm running some long-form projects on my Twitch channel, uh, all of those VODs will e uh, be uploaded to either my channel here or to the data plan, depending on you know the nature of the project. Uh, I'll be trying to keep up with speedrunning more on my Twitch as well. Uh, you may have seen some new personal bests pop up on here recently. Uh, I'll be posting any new personal bests uh, whenever they happen. Uh, as always, uh, my Twitter is the best place to keep up with news about my channels. That's usually where I post updates about projects. If there's any delays on videos coming out, I usually post about it there. Um, that's also where I announce my Twitch streams. Uh, and, you know, I post links to that when I go live. Um, so, thank you for listening to this update. I'm sure it's going to end up being a lot longer than I initially intended. But it's definitely good to be back and I'm looking forward to making more content. I've been Red X Parasite, signing out.